friends welcome let us learn traffic lectomy after a superior rectus brittle suture conjunctible peritomy is done for about one and a half clock hours this is a small radial cut and now i take a vana scissor and a forceps and there is a thick tenons tissue underneath so I have to incise the tenons and now I am taking conjunctiva and tenons together and exposing the sclera the peritomy is from 11 o'clock to 12.30 o'clock another small radial cut and see how thick is the tenons tissue I'm trimming the tenons so that I can do a nice cautery over here and now the scleral surface is exposed backward so that the blade can form here beyond the apex so the scleral surface has been exposed nicely and now bipolar weight field cautery is being done the assistant keeps on instilling drops of BSS as I do bipolar weight field cautery. This is an edited video. The surgery took about 28 minutes. It has been edited to about 15 minutes. So the cautery is almost done and now a triangular scleral flap is raised. This is one incision, this is another incision. The base of the triangle is at the limbus. And now I go to a certain depth. And in this case, the depth was little more it could have been little less in this case I went to about two-third depth better is 50% depth now I have taken this crescent blade and at a particular plane I'm going towards the limbus if the bed is smooth, the filtration is good. If the bed is ragged, the filtration may be less. So I'm trying to get a smooth surface underneath this scleral flap. And now I have taken a 15 number bar perker blade, lift the flap, and I find that I have gone almost 3 fourth depth. So now I am using, using this instrument. This is a 15 number bar perker blade to go at the limbus and now I'm going to use mitomycin C soaked cotton ball and keeping it here for about one and a half minutes and now I make this sideboard 
after removing the cotton ball and washing the area and now I am placing a pre-placed suture releasable suture at the apex so this is this portion of the video is one and a half times speed 150 percent speed so this is the pre-placed suture now I take this 11 number Bart Parker blade and I'm going to excise a piece of sclera which contains trabecular meshwork see the IOPO is very high about 30 and that's why it's prolapse of iris and now I take a vana scissor try to deposit it partially so that I don't do a complete aridectomy and here it is I do a peripheral aridectomy and this is a fairly big full thickness aridectomy and now I tie the pre-placed suture at the apex and this is a releasable suture three throws one two three hold the suture and pull and now cut the thread longer thread with the needle and the other thread is outside as we pull this thread the apex will open and aqueous will go posteriorly this is another releasable suture on the left arm of the triangular scleral flap a portion of the suture is outside the conjunctiva from outside the conjunctiva it comes inside and then bites are taken al across the scleral flap and this is another releasable suture this patient has been suffering from primary open angle glaucoma for about two years the IOP was not getting controlled by four molecules of anti-glaucoma medicines and we decided to do this trabeclectomy and this not is this is not a releasable suture this is a permanent knot at least on knot on suture should be permanent so that the wound doesn't open up like a fish mouth in this case I wanted more filtration that's why I have put two releasable switches and now we have to close the conjunctiva oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus this portion of the surgery is two times speed speed is 200 percent so these two are going to be releasable switches at the right end of the peritomy I'm 
going to place this eligible switch here three throws hold the thread and just cut it and now this is the other releasable switcher three throws pull the thread and do it and now I am going to place some mattress switchers this is another releasable switcher on the left and okay we will put it later first I wanted to put the mattress switchers so the bytes come from the limbal side and then posteriorly then from the posterior leaf it goes to the uh, limbal side and a knot is placed see how it is placed only one through and just don't make it very tight just oppose it nicely to the limbus and now this is the second mattress switcher yes coming from this side and from posterior leap towards the limbus pull the thread and this is the second mattress switcher only one through don't make it very tight just nice opposition to the limbus and now there's a gap we have to close that gap also So this is a releasable switcher on the left end of the peritomy and this will close the wound. Three throws, pull it. So we have used two mattress switchers, one releasable switcher on the left side and two releasable sutures on the right side two releasable sutures on the triangular scleral flap and one permanent suture and this is a lavage of the anterior chamber and now this is moxifloxacin. I am hydrating the corneal stroma to close the side port and a portion of the moxifloxacin is going into the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in learning trabeculectomy.